Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, mild weather out there on this Valentine's Day, even with all those clouds around, those temperatures still warming well above average. And into the 60s, 63 was the top temperature earlier today, started out at 37. And from the showers that rolled through, not a lot of rainfall, just two 100s. As a matter of fact, we're pretty much on the back edge of the rain as well. We're 56 and cloudy in town. Humidity 64% of southeasterly wind, just shy of 10 miles an hour. Now the wind will pick up a little more so now that the rain has moved out. But the advisory category as far as up over 40, 45 miles an hour, I think that's going to be pretty tough to get. So some good news there. The winds won't be quite as strong as what we first thought. Uh, as far as the radar goes, here we go. You can see uh, much of the green now east of Louisville and east of the I-65 corridor. Raining pretty good in Lexington along Interstate 75. A few other showers out near the Wabash. So yes, from now until let's say midnight, one o'clock in the morning, an isolated shower could still occur even around the metro. But watch the future cast. Boy, those things will quickly end through the early overnight. We're going to wake up to partly to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. Dry conditions, mild conditions, and those mild conditions will become just outright warm by mid to late afternoon as we're expecting to go mostly sunny midday through the afternoon of tomorrow. That southwesterly breeze it's going to be a little bit breezy out there, but certainly not exceedingly windy or anything like that, but it will be quite warm. High temperatures tomorrow. Look at this. Upper 60s, low 70s in southern Indiana to the low and middle 70s from the metro and points off to the south. Still expecting 74 in town tomorrow. If we get there, that will tie the record high for the date. Wow. Enjoy tomorrow because things get active again. Late tomorrow night and Thursday, it's going to come from this system you see out here near the four corners. We have snow in the high country, rain in the valleys, big low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That'll ride the jet stream off to the east and bring us a chance for showers and storms. Late tomorrow night on into Thursday, as I mentioned, a few of those could be strong to severe. Let's talk about that. When we wake up, Thursday morning. I think there's going to be a pretty good chance for scattered showers and storms. So keep that in the back of your minds. I think uh, allow extra time to get to your destinations there Thursday morning with the scattered showers and storms. A break midday. Then as the cold front approaches mid to late afternoon, scattered thunderstorms could refire. It's at that time along that cold front. A couple of those could be strong to severe. Right now, our region has a slight risk for severe weather. Uh, on a scale of one to five, it's a two. It bears watching, and we'll definitely keep you posted as we get a little bit closer. Here's our forecast now. Overnight tonight, showers, they're going to be diminishing. They're doing so now. Breezy, mild temperatures around 55. Looking through your seven day, wow, what a great day tomorrow. 74, still warm Thursday, just ahead of that cold front at 70, but a chance for some scattered strong storms. Scattered storms in the morning, a few could be stronger late day. The cold front moves through and Drew, oh my goodness, does it get chilly? At least for one day, we're back in the upper 30s Friday and we'll come out of it quickly. 48 Saturday, 56 on Sunday beautiful February weekend right there and another rain chance early next week on Monday. If you can just not leave the house on Friday, you can just pretend it never <laughs> happened, right? <laughs> just kind of put the shades down and yeah. just go from Thursday to Saturday. <laughs> uh, if only, Jay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Let's in all